Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing the top best shorty teach 5, 11, 12, 13, and 14. The first three is called complications. Brings Apple Watch widgets to your iPhone's lock screen. And this tweak is called Orion. It's one of the most powerful and central tweaks for iOS 13 and 14. It combines hundreds of features in one place with highly customizable preferences, built to be very efficient and battery friendly. This tweak is called Social Composer, and quick and efficient way to use your social skills. Quickly write messages, mails without needing to get inside the app itself. Quickly tweet, share, post any photo, text, and social media apps. Design your own grabber and view position. Change the order of the apps in the view. And this is called Lyrication. Live lyrics for music so you can sing along to your songs as they're playing. And this is called Quick A and C. And simplifies the way you switch between transparency and noise canceling mode before you have to go through the noise control center and then toggle between the different modes. But now with Quick A and C, it's just one tap away. This is called LibCS Color Picker. It's a minimal color picker library. This tweet is called Reach Player. And now playing info in the reachability window as a sleek interface to reachability window with the now playing song. This tweet is called Dustbuster. It allows you to delete temporary files, app cache, and many other files that occupy unnecessary space on your device. Free version is limited to have no options to configure and limited list of a directory to clean. So you just press the scan now and it scans it. It's like an eye cleaner. Pro or iClean alternative. This is called Adaptive Status Bar. Color your status bar based on the app icon. So change the color of the status bar to match the dominant color of any app's icon. This is called Debdol, a uh, command line utility to back up and restore and install dev packages. You can back up all or restore in one click. This is called NM Plus. Sports iOS 13 and 14, check range, torn, odyssey, and uncover. Test on iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 11 Pro, mats, and the iPad, all in one animation customization tweak. Allow the control of the speed of your animations on the main home screen and in apps, optimized to prevent in any battery drain at, at all, and allows you to either speed up or slow down the animations with a smooth transition. So, since so it's speeding up your animations or slowing down, um, I don't know why you're slowing down, but to speed them up, it basically makes your device seem like it's a bunch, or well, a lot faster. Since it's you know, speeding up the animations, your device is basically a lot faster. This is called A screen and home screen settings. So sports iOS 10 to 14, customize top bar colors, watch color, battery color, network color, Wi-Fi color, customize the colors of all application names, colors of the page points, enable and disable keys, the colors, high background dock, high application library, customize the background color of the dock, customize iPhone background colors, customize close control center and background colors CC. Customize background color, search suggestions, customize the uh, folder background color. There's more than one ready-made pattern, so pretty cool. This is a theme called HQ Icons, best high-quality icons for iOS 13. This is called LibCS Preferences, Preferences Library. Uh, simple uh, use to use some preference library for iOS, sports iOS 9. Point at to 13 points. This is called drain check and do not disturb or low power mode into a battery monitor system. So you turn do not disturb or low low power mode on, and then um, when you turn it back off, it tells you how much like percentage your battery went down. So you can see it dropped from this percent to this percent since you turn it on to do since when you turn it off. So if you want to turn it on overnight, turn it off overnight. You can see exactly how much battery percentage you lost. This is called Ventana. I'm not sure when you guys are watching this, but as I'm making this video. There was a lot of beef with this tweak between Litin or Litin and I think Coolstar. Um, since this is like Coolstar's tweak, uh, and I guess Coolstar made some money off this one of the only tweaks Coolstar made, I think, money off of. Uh, Litin or Litin actually remade this tweak, and Coolstar didn't like that. And Coolstar, I guess, went after Litin, and now they Litin is thinking about quitting and just doesn't want to be part of the Jared community because of this. And she's just, I guess, really upset by all this. So that's basically what happened. Um, but with this tweak, it made use of your device's screen, real estate, and modern lock screen inspired by the desktop Windows 10, you know, those features. So it gives you this cool um, Windows, like, lock screen desktop mode. So pretty cool.